I'm sorry. I keep hitting this tripod. But that'll change once I change up the dining room here. So, I'm going to just move these paints over here. Have my torch here. I'm going to try and put a little less paint on than I did last time. And I'm going to start with the Artist Soft Red on the bottom. If I didn't mention it before, if you didn't watch my last balloon smash, I, I highly suggest you do. It turned out awesome. But I mentioned it there, and I'm going to mention it again. I use water balloons. And the reason I do is because I can, I have a tiny knot. I can hold it like this and go down and do this and wipe it off because you need to wipe it off in between. Not constantly, but a good amount. And it's just for a small canvas, it's just the right size. All right, so we got the artist off right down. I'm just getting a couple of paper towels here. So I already managed to get right on myself. I like the paper towels that you can uh, put into. You know, you only use half of it. All right, so after the red, which I'm going to hit one more time because I see bubbles. I'm going to go with the Lucas Krill Cadmium Orange. Available at Jerry's Artorama. Really love this color because it's the light hue. Even if you're not an orange fan, this isn't peach, but it isn't the dark orange, so I kind of like it. Alright, I'm gonna move that out of the way and torch these again. I'm gonna go in now with this purple, which I don't believe is purple egg, -like, but it looks a lot like it. Maybe the other one was dioxazine purple. I need to get I need to finish mixing when my Jerry's Artorama supply arrives. I took advantage of the New Year sale, which was phenomenal. Yeah, the more I see it, I think that is purple like. I um, am going to label mine as I mix them because I'm tired of not knowing exactly what some of them are. Like this, like when I get a craft paint, I know this is a craft paint, but I don't know which one. And we'll see how easily it comes out. I'm oh, pretty good.
I'm going to do something bold here. And I'm going to put a drop of yellow in. And this is Artist Loft um, Acrylic Flow Yellow. It is fairly bright. It is not subdued at all. But that's all right. That's why I'm using it. Okay, I hope this little one turns out as good as a big one. And I got my paper towel, my balloon, and we're ready to go. I am going to start in the middle and go over here. Obviously, the harder you press, the more color you'll get. You don't have to, but you can fill as much of the canvas as you want. I did a decent amount last time. We'll see what I do this time. And all these peaks it creates, again, not worried about it. Specifically because of how slow I made it dry. I think that's the key to not getting cracking or crazing. Just my personal opinion. Non-professional personal opinion. It looks pretty cool there. Yeah, and I see some cells. I'm gonna wipe this off a minute. These water balloons come in all sizes, so, um, but they're easier for me personally to handle. You can use regular balloons. I just don't recommend blowing it up fully. I want to get some of that gold or yellow on here if I can. There we go. So these are pretty fun. The bigger the canvas, the more fun, clearly. Because you can do that. That is awesome. Look at that. Love it. This one I might end up doing the whole canvas just because it's a small canvas. So we'll see. I do have some other big canvases, but I already had this one prepped to go with the tape. All right. Just
So my one concern about this is all the paint I have in the middle versus the outside. So I'm going to try and pull more out. Looks cool. Really glad I put that yellow in there. I like that. I'm gonna squeeze a little more in there actually. Just at the bottom here. And actually in here. I'm gonna come stand behind the camera here and see what we got. I know it's hard to see with the lighting, but as I said in previous videos, that will be changing soon enough. Make it, make it some other paper towels a minute. So I'm actually pulling a lot of black up now when I do this, which tells me that maybe I'm going to switch out balloons. This has a smaller circumference. That's why I blew up, blew up two different ones. So at some point, this turned off. Um, I switched out my balloons to the pink balloon because it has a smaller circumference on it and I'm really filling this up, which is fine. I do want to see if I can pull more paint out of this middle and put it on the edges and to the point where it might go over. But I'm also pulling up a lot of black. See that pulled up that yellow and you can't even see it now. Or it pushed it down into the black. So these ones that have yellow, I'm not going to push that hard on. I just want to mess them up a bit. But yeah, it's not working with the black so well. I do have lots of cells in here, which is good. That's, again, probably just from what I'm doing. Even though, you know, and the fact that there's no silicone means no messy cleanup in the end, which is great. I'm putting a lot of yellow there. Mostly because it keeps going down. I don't want it to do that. Yep, same problem. 
I'm just trying to give, um, I was trying to give some definition to the middle of some of these flower looking areas, but I can tell that's not going to work. I think I'm done. I'm just over here looking, looking at the composition. Yeah, I think I like it. This might be my new jam balloon smashes. Although I've been doing a lot of dirty pours this is the beginning of this year too, so. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click like. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of when I upload a new video. And I welcome any and all comments, positive or negative. And yeah, we will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.